Hey, Stephen Young here doing the Junkyard Crawl at Burnison Auto Wrecking in Burnison, Massachusetts. And this is the Dodge A100 van, launched in 1964 as a response to the 1962 Ford Falcon slash Econoline cab forward front engined van. And in fact, if you like that, check out the video on that one here at the Steve Mags YouTube channel. Now, this was also uh, paralleled by the Chevy van in 1964. Again, a nice copy of Ford's Falcon slash Econoline. But the Dodge van was unique. It basically had the most powerful V8 in the industry, the 210 horsepower 318. Meanwhile, Ford didn't even offer a V8 until 1968 with the second generation Econoline, and Chevrolet vans with the 283 were limited to about 175 horse until 1970 when finally the Chevy G van could be had with the 354 barrel and 255 horsepower. But that was a one year wonder in 1970. Before that, the 210 horsepower 318 Dodge A1. 100 and A108 were the most powerful vans in this segment. Now here's the thing, here is a Dodge truck catalog right here, and the Dodge van could be had in a wide variety of configurations. We can see right here, you could get it with windows, without windows, and with the tradesman or the sportsman, uh, with passenger seats or none and see on this right hand side here we can see the different configurations inside for uh, different uh, tradesmen and Dodge would build it however you wanted uh, even they had an, a mobile executive suite right there you could actually buy your van with uh, uh, ready to go you know on the job site you could be the manager or whatever it might be maybe shoot a movie in the back with the, the stewardess right here whatever you might want now this one here is unusual it's a window van but before we get into that I do want to point out that this one was put out of its misery by an impact right here and I always joke when you're driving an A100 van or any forward control van of the 1960s you want to wear your steel-toed boots because you are the bump and uh, if you hit anything you're basically not protected and I just hope that whoever was involved in this crash didn't come through the windshield the window is broken so who can say what happened right here some years ago but again this one is a v8 and if you want to go in and take a peek inside we'll have a look now the doghouse in these things is the middle area right here where the engine is located and underneath there it is the 318 two barrel now the 273 two barrel was offered in the first couple of years but the 318 uh, was uh, a pretty good sized v8 small block never done with the 383 no four barrels none of that stuff but again with 210 horsepower the 318 was a pretty potent engine. Now this one was a three-speed manual. We'll know more about that in a second. Uh, the tag will tell us, but the seats in this thing are worthy of note. Uh, owners of 68 Hemi darts, um, mid-year Jeep CJs, and even international travel alls will recognize these as the Bostrom Thinline bucket seat. And yes, these were used in Dodge A100 and A108 vans. So it's kind of a cool thing that those seats right there, if you're building a Hemi Superstock clone, just grab seats out of one of these vans. Now let's do this thing real quick. Uh, before we decode this tag, look at this. This is a, uh, a patch panel right here that somebody applied over the original orange metal. We can actually see the original metal underneath right here. So a quickie fix job. So somebody at some point was selling patch panels to deal with the rust, but like all patch panels, when they're not done with metal and welding, here's the plastic filler peeling back away and revealing the ugly truth below. That's why I always say that, you know, New England vehicles or cars with rust always unravel eventually like that. But here's the thing, we go back to this trim tag right here. If you know what you're looking at, you can sometimes find some cool stuff. Now this one here, the A745, that's the all synchro three-speed manual transmission I referenced a second ago. There was also the A930, which was a non-synchro three-speed manual, not a lot of fun. Here's the 318 V8 right there, 318. And uh, this one, the rear axle ratio, 323. Pretty cool. You can also see 355 or 391. And I found in the junkyard about two out of 10 times, the eight and three quarter rear axle will have a sure grip unit. About, like I said, 20% of the time. Uh, in California, I still hit the junkyards all, all the time. And you'd spin one wheel, if the other wheel turned with it, Sure grip time, get your wrenches and grab that thing. Now this is, an, again, an unusual one. This one has windows all the way around. Uh, it's a short wheelbase, A100, uh, with a 90 inch wheelbase, not the A108, which is more typically seen with all these windows. Around the back, yeah, it also got smacked in the rear end right there. Kind of too bad. 
And here in the back, again, the windows continue all the way around. On the right-hand side, uh, we can see it does have doors up there on the right. Uh, you could actually get the A100 with walkthrough doors right and left if you wanted. So these, again, were built to please. Now, this one here has been fully equipped with modern amenities. Got the tub, the sink, uh, toiletry, all that stuff. So again, dwellings and, and, and motel and hotel space and apartments these days are really hard to find. So this one is really ready to be moved in. So you don't want to delay. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity. If you want to learn more about this, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel.